Hey, hey, hey. All right, we're back here with the new, brand new 500 gigabyte Crucial BX100 2.5 inch SSD. Um, here is what I use for my enclosures. One, because they're cheap, and two, because they're USB 3.0 interfaced. So, um, it allows really quick transfers of, this is what I use for my photography workflow and some video editing, but I have a working drive. That's a 256 gigabyte SSD Kingston and also a Kingston import vault or a Kingston two and a half inch SSD 156 gigabit, gigabytes. Um, this one is not big enough to like when I'm on a seven day photography job or something like that. And I'm, I'm out in the field 100% of the time. Um, this is not enough room for basically I use this as a secondary import drive and all my images stay here. Um, this is the one I work off of. I delete all the junk pictures, the ones that are out of focus that I don't want. This one just does not have enough space. So this 500 gigabyte, I, you know, I'm on the fence. I think right now I'm going to use the 500 gigabyte drive as the import vault drive because that way I can store a lot more photos there and keep the 256. So I think I'm going to take out the, uh, let's see, take out this HyperX by Kingston drive and pop in this Crucial. So this one, you just be careful, it lifts up and I believe it slides right out. It's a great drive too, the HyperX line for, from Kingston. Uh, I've never had any issues. There we go, just real carefully, pops right out there. Um, now right away, I can tell you one of two things. This drive is a lot thinner, and in fact, I may have to use that spacer for this thing. I don't know if you can see that right here. It's thinner than the Kingston. Also, it's a lot lighter than the Kingston. So what I'm going to do, I don't want it to be in, I don't want it to go in here and then flop around. So I may have to use this little spacer that they added along. And it looks like there is a, some double-sided tape that comes with it, but I'm not going to put all that on. I'm going to first put the drive in and see what it does. All right, slid right in place, all the way in. Let me see. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to use that spacer. I'm not going to stick it on, though, just because I'm not sure I'm going to keep it in this drive or if I'm going to do something else. I'm going to see if I can just uh, see if I can just float it around in there. All right. I mean, I can feel it in there moving a little bit, but again, this is. They're SSDs, there's no moving parts in them. They can withstand a little bit of uh, abuse, so to speak. So now we got a working and an import vault drive. Um, I'm gonna plug these into the computer here in just a few minutes and I'll transfer a bunch of photos. So plugging in the new drive presented me with this error that this you insert is not readable by this computer. This is typical, it's no, not a problem. We need to initialize the drive. Basically, I set up the drive a certain way so if we look, um, so also I plugged in a USB 3.0 interfaced spinning drive, just a standard two and a half inch spinning drive, just a standard two and a half inch hard drive um, in a Western Digital My Passport Ultra um, housing or enclosure. It's a USB 3.0, um, and we're going to be and that's named backup. So that's this drive here. Also, I have my working drive. You can see the, the backup one is a one terabyte. The working is a 256 or 240 or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Kingston drive and then the 500 is right here. So if we look at, let's look at this 246. If we go to partition, I got format. I want to make sure it's Mac OS extended journaled. So I'm going to do the same thing to this drive. Come over here. Yeah, let's look at it. Let's erase format Mac OS 10 or Mac OS extended journaled. We're going to title this one um, Crucial 500. How about that? Make it easy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit erase. It's saying it's going to delete everything on this drive. Yes, that's fine. So just be a brief second. And then once we have this set up, it's ready to go. We should see it pop up here on our desktop eventually. Let me move these down a little bit. There it is. Crucial 500. Let's move that up here. All right, so we're done setting that up. That was easy. We can 
go into the drive, there's nothing in there. Show the info, shows 499.76 capacity, 500, close enough. Okay, so what I got, I have my Nikon D750 DSLR. Um, it's a 24 megapixel camera. Shoots very high quality shots, if I get them in focus. <laughs> um, I just went outside real quick, shot, just shot off a bunch of shots of the dogs. And then also I have the videos uh, that I was recording from the, probably from the previous video and then as well as this video. So anyways, pop out the card. I got two S, uh, SD cards here. I'll pop out the top one, which is the one that I recorded it onto. This is a fast SD card. It's a SanDisk Extreme Pro 95 megabits per second. 32 gigabyte um, SDHC, class 10, um, and then, yeah, I don't know if you can see all that, but anyways, it's one of the top cards you can get. I uh, wanted to make sure that I had fast cards for both the camera sake as well as transferring files out in the field because I'll use my MacBook Air out in the field. I plug in a uh, Kingston USB 3.0 card reader, plug that into the USB port, and uh, they transfer fast. So I'm going to plug this to the back of the iMac, which is USB 3.0. Um, for this card, it's USB 3.0. It's not on the MacBook Air, the version I have. That's why I have to put the card reader in. But anyways, put this in. We're going to we're gonna use the standard program that I always use for all my uh, photo ingesting or photo importing, however you want to call it. Basically taking the pictures off this, putting them into the computer. So you'll see that process as well. And... Um, I got to make sure that this is as fast as possible because when I'm out in the field, I'm I pop this in, I go through the photos really quick and pick out the usable ones, delete the old, the crappy ones, and I start editing real quick you know, if I have time out there. So let me reach back behind here, plug this thing in. It's going to automatically launch a program that I use called Photo Mechanic, the probably the fastest program for viewing quick, uh, quick views of all your photos. That's another video. Um, here I'm gonna pick the Nikon D750. That's the card I just popped in. Let me get these things out of my way. And then um, what I typically do is I copy it to two drives, but I'm not gonna do it this time. I'm gonna do this whole process three times. Um, I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna uncheck this incremental copy new photos only because I want it to copy every time. Otherwise the program will remember that I already copied these things and it won't copy them again, which is good for actual use, but we're testing here. So I'm just going to choose my primary destination. Destination. We're going to choose the backup drive, and I don't even know. Okay, I got backups and stuff on there. Let's let me uh, let me go in here and clear this out. Backup. All right. So I just finished cleaning off uh, the drives, and then also emptying the trash. So, anyways, back to this. Uh, we have the three drives, backup working, and the Crucial 500. Um, so I'm going to, let's first transfer all these files. These are raw images, 24 megapixel images, along with some um, 720p, I think I did 70, 720, maybe 1080 on that, I don't remember. No, I think it's 1080p video files off the camera here. So I'm gonna choose my primary destination, and here we're gonna do the backup drive, which is our spinning disk. Okay, we're gonna hit open. I'm not gonna do a secondary. Um, I am going to apply the stationary. This is basically a bunch of stuff. Um, it doesn't even matter at this point, but I want to apply that because that's what I always do anyways. We're going to rename the photos as we go. So it's a whole process. And then it's going to unmount the source, which I don't need to do at this moment because I want to do this a few times. So we're going to uncheck that. So at this point, uh, I don't have a stopwatch. We can kind of just get a feel for it. It shouldn't take too long, but we should be able to notice a difference, I'm hoping. So we're going to hit ingest. And what it's going to do is it's going to have a little progress bar down here in the bottom left. It's copying over all these raw files now. It's going to present them here in a quick, quick format. And it's going to show up some more as we go. And when we get to the videos, it's going to take a little longer. And at the same time, I can come in here and quickly browse these and pick out the images that are, you know, sharp that I like or whatever. But I'm not going to do all that right now. We're still copying. We got it down here in the bottom right, it's showing it's still copying all these files. If I hit escape. Um, it brings me back to the thumbnail view. Um, you know, we're getting a feel for how long this is taking. It's still going. I could overlap these videos, I guess, but nah. Um, it's not that many files. It's fine. 
So you can see it's still showing a bunch of files. This is just me taking a bunch of pictures out in the backyard real quick. Um, and then we should get to the, I think it, it should be some video. Yep, there's a move file that move. And should be another one. Come on, come on, come on. Almost. And it should be done here. There, done. Okay, so that was on the spinning disk. Um, let's go ahead and close Photo Mechanic because we want this to happen exactly the same each and every time. So now what I want to do, let's go ahead and open up Photo Mechanic again. Now I'm going to do ingest. I guess I didn't have to close it. So I'm going to go file, ingest. We're going to pick the Nikon drive. We're going to this time pick, we're going to pick the working drive, which is the Kingston 256. Now I don't, I don't think we're going to have a big difference in speed between the Kingston 256 and the Crucial 500, but we're going to find out anyways. So uh, we're going to do the blah, 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 working drive. Hit OK. Everything else is the same. Let's ingest this thing. Now you can see right away how fast this is going. Of course, our thumbnails are going to pop up here any second. Boom, that's a lot. Um, this is a lot faster. I mean, this tells you, this shows you just the difference in a spinning disk versus a, an SSD. Um, both same USB 3.0 interfaces. And that's done. God, that was so much quicker. We're going to go ahead and close that. We're going to open up Photo Mechanic one more time. This time we're going to pump this out to the Crucial Drive, the beautiful 500 gigabyte drive. We're going to do ingest. Pick the same Nikon source. Um, pick our destination, which is going to be Crucial. Open, ingest. Beautiful. I mean, that's, that's fast. It's probably the same speed as that Kingston drive, but it's hard to say without putting a clock on it or overlaying these videos. But I mean, obviously, it's, it's an SSD. They're, they're going to be fast. And see, when you're out in the field working like this with an SSD, night and day for your workflow. And I'm a workflow freak. I'm always trying to improve my overall workflow so I can make more money in less time. Um, all right, so we'll close that out. And we can see that we have information there, information there, and info here. Oop. If I can click it properly, info there. Um, capacity used up is 4.43 gigs. So basically, we transferred over, um, you know, almost five gigs of data really quickly. So that's pretty sweet. SSDs is the way to go. Crucial. Uh, thanks for sending me this unit. We're gonna make some good use out of it. We're gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna put it out in the field and do, I got some big job. I got a big job coming up in December, seven day event. Uh, through the whole work day, I'll be shooting and transferring files. We're gonna put this sucker all the way through the test and um, I'm sure it'll be fine. SSDs are, are pretty bulletproof. Anyways, all right guys, thanks for hanging out, bye.